Yeah, exactly. We know that because materials contract in the cold and expand in the heat. Right now, the concrete on that interstate surface is expanding. But there are other forces at work, too. That's a terrible thing to have happen on an interstate. And so we want to get in there, shut down the affected lanes right away. This was the scene on I-215 in Taylorsville Tuesday when the concrete expanded and had nowhere to go but up. There's no sign of when and where it's going to happen. Statewide pavement engineer Jason Simmons tells me our interstate surfaces are made of concrete panels connected by contraction joints. We know it's going to crack. So we cut those so the cracks form right there. The concrete contracts and expands, but never back to its original volume. Over time, rocks and grit get in the joints, which keeps the concrete from moving back and forth. When the concrete panels cannot move and the heat expands the concrete, it buckles. It's these rocks that build up inside the joint that typically cause that failure. But it's not just the 100 degree heat that triggers the buckling. On that day, we had sustained high temperatures and sustained high low temperatures. And so that material was never able to contract back down and relieve the pressure. Not a big problem from a paving standpoint, he says, but a serious problem for traffic. It happens anywhere from a dozen to two dozen times a year. It's kind of an unwritten rule for a lot of our maintenance folks that they won't take time off around the last week of June, first week of July, because we know that we're going to see these type of issues. So if you see buckling or crumbling pavement while you're out driving, call 911 because that is an emergency and UDOT wants to get on top of it right away. Guys? All right, Jed Bull live for us this evening in Salt Lake. Jed, thank you.